Hello, this is Dylan Jones, and I'd like to welcome you to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. Today's session is going to be an introduction to staking out corridor models in Trimble Access Roads module. So I'm going to start here in Trimble Access. I'm going to open up my linked file screen, take a look at my map files, and enable my RXL file. This is my corridor. And let's zoom extent to see where that's at. All right, so there's my road corridor. So in roads, we're going to go to menu, define, and this is just a quick QA, QC thing. I'm going to go to RXL road. We're going to review the road corridor. Here you can see it now colors it with a gradient. We can zoom in. You're going to see that there are different lines here that we can tap on, or different strings, I should say. We can use the left and right arrow keys. So I'm using the arrow keys to go from one offset or string to another. I can also click on these nodes. I can go left and right on those. I can go forward and backward on those as well. So I'm going forward, backward. And there's also this 3D drive. This is a nice tool to just simply hit play and you can drive down the road corridor see if there's any issues with the design. All right, so now when it comes to actually staking out that corridor, we're going to menu, stake out, stake out roads. We we'll wanna make sure that in the options here, we're on graphical stakeout. That's gonna be the preferred method for corridors. We're gonna choose our RXL file, and hit next. Put in an antenna height or rod height, at this point, you might have to do your station setup for your total station. And then also the station interval here. I'll do 50 feet. And I'll hit next. All right, so here we can just hit start to measure your position relative to the road. Basically, it just gives you a station offset cut fill. Tap on a string and hit start to measure your position relative to that string. So if I pick this boulevard string and hit start, now it's telling me to go right four tenths to get to that string line. Here's my cut fill to that string. Um, and then lastly, we can pick on a node. So if we want to go to this node here, hit start. Now it's telling us um, go forward, go right. If you go into the options, you can play around with the display options. You can do, uh, sorry, the deltas here, you can do uh, station offset or delta grid if you want. So now it, it'll it say go south, go west. Okay. Versus station offset, which tells you your station and horizontal offset. So if I move my guy, my emulator to there, you'll see the station offset updates. Still need to go forward along the alignment 15.8 feet and to the left 4.6 feet. Okay, so then to get to a different node, you can hit escape, you can go left or right, um, tap and hold to do construction offsets, so you can do three feet out, hit accept. Now if I zoom in here to this node that I'm going to stake out, you can see the placement of that horizontal offset to the top back of curb, I'll hit start. So it's now it's going to tell me how to get to here. I'll move my guy there and that's how you'd stake out to a specific station offset uh, with a uh, horizontal construction offset, for example. So here I just have my joystick. I'm going to move, move this and you can see my station offset, go forward, go right, updates. As I move my joystick up or down, it changes my cut or fill. So let's, let's get a little bit closer to the road surface. There, we've got about two tenths of fill now. Um, other cool thing about graphical stakeout is, and with corridors, you have this cross-section view. So that shows you where you're at vertically on the, um, on the corridor. Okay, you can zoom in, you can pan in this view as well. You can see there's my construction offset point that I'm trying to get to. 
You can also pick different nodes on here if you want to stake out a specific node from that cross section. You can use the left and right arrow keys here as well. Uh, you just have to kind of escape out of the thing that you're staking out. Then go into the cross section mode. And now you can use your left and right arrow keys to do that. And you can do forward, backward to change the stationing. So that all works the same here. Switch back to the plan view here with this icon. Um, zoom out. So that's it. That's staking out corridors in roads within Trimble Access.